Welcome to a Town Hall 9 Warbase. Oh, that is the best I have seen in a while. I'm going to be doing a series giving you tons of Town Hall 9 content for the Warbases if you need it. This is a CWL clan. Spartan's Legacy is ranked in... Uh, we're tied for number one in the world right now uh, for CWL invite. Or still number one. I can't remember. We have one loss. I think uh, it's Forbidden Saw so is one loss too. So tied for first. Anyways, coming in hot. This is a replay on the base. So... Uh, is this the best base in the world? Uh, maybe not in the world, but it's a solid base. Way better than your internet base because it's just way better. Why do I say it's better? Because a lot of tricky situations. It's very hard to bowler witch this one. These enclaves right here is going to mess up some bowler witches. Uh, you're gonna, it's, it's a little tricky to bowler witch this one. Uh, so I know it's a very common attack. Uh, now, of course, this base, any town on nine will fall. I mean, the goal with a town on nine is to at least defend once. If you can defend once, you're golden, man. And if you can defend twice, it's even better. So most people are going to try to Falcon. They're probably going to try to Bowler Witch <clears throat> in the kind of regular clans that you use. If you're in a CWO clan, I probably, you know, these bases, probably not, I don't know, build your own or something. However, with all these bases here, you want to tweak them. <clears throat> and I'll give you the traps afterwards. And uh, at the at the end of this, we will be showing some Town Hall 9 attacks as well. So for some three stars. Anyways, pretty good kill squad. I mean, look at that kill squad. And now how did this fail? It looks like uh, it's just tricky, man. The sweeper really messed up his Lalo here. Uh, maybe a little bit off on a couple of his loom placements. This wizard tower just got too much damage. Again, the pathing was tricky. It was very tricky to get in there. And uh, he tried his best, uh, but was not able to succeed. Now, I know this base went down almost, and, uh, you know, maybe if he brought more cleanup, he would have three-starred this. Uh, he probably would have three-starred with some more cleanup, but that's the way it goes. And it held off, you know, held off at least one time. So we're going to speed that one up, and there it is. I uh, just ran out of time there, and it's still going to hold up. The good thing is most people will not be seeing this video, so definitely try this out. And let me just show you this base right here, Mr. Benzene. And there's some traps. Now, I will say, change up the traps a bit if you need to. Or even better, just rotate the base um, like six, uh, 90 degrees, 180 or something, whatever. Change things up around if you want to. And uh, it'll go well for you. And uh, yes, yes, indeed. Now, of course, it got eventually three starred. I mean, all Town Hall 9s are going to get three starred, guys. I mean, if the. It, and well, maybe not, at least in, you know, if they're a decent clan, they're going to three star your hits. So. We're going to just start at the very bottom here, and we're going to move on up the rank. So Gutkiss coming in here with a Bowler Witch. I'm going to give you some different strategies here today, just showing you some Town Hall 9 attacks. And if you want some more in-depth for Town Hall 9, uh, go to my playlist. got one there for you. Going to Bowler Witch here, man. Do a little Bowler Witch, some healer action, and going to come in right on the Wizard Tower. Now, he brings in healers because, see, look at this. This Wizard Tower, the two Axe Bows... You need healers for your witches. You just need them. Um, otherwise, these guys would get melted over here. They almost, they still almost get melted. Uh, a couple, he does lose a couple of witches early on, so that's why he brings in those healers. And there's no worry about the air defenses as well over there. So, very nicely done, if you ask me. In fact, it is very nicely done. Anyways, very good stuff. Kill squad right in the middle. Even though the hound is going to slow down the queen, not a big deal. Uh, healers helping out at 12 o'clock as well, taking down the king. And uh, again, look at all these healers over here. Keeping up the witches. Very powerful stuff. And uh, yeah, Gutkiss showing us that the bowler witch. Very good entry point. Again, because... Uh, I mean, it was just kind of a great place to enter. You could either from 12 to 9 or, I mean, maybe 6 to 9 as well. But 12 to 9 was good too. A lot of value. You got the king and queen. Uh, got the wizard towers up there. And on the back end, it's super easy. Only air defenses and cannons, which do nothing to witches. Uh, the bomb tower is the only scare, but uh, not going to be not gonna be a problem because he's got the healers anyway. Uh, so look at this. See, all you have to worry about, the wizards can destroy the witches, but... We'll speed this one up because uh, we know what's going to happen. It's going to be a three-star. Nicely done, gut guess. That's how you do it. So if you're looking for Town Hall 9 bases, Town Hall 9 attacks, this is the place to be. I'm going to be pumping out these videos faster than you can say Christmas. And uh, you need to make sure you subscribe, pop that notification bell, and tell your clanmates if you need some bases. Here's another one. This time a little different, right? No, no spammy attackies. No spammies here. 
we're going to be doing a little kill squad action. And you might be wondering, what's what is he, what is this, what's the goal here of the three golem push? Now, you don't always have to enter in on the wizard tower side. He's going to come in. It looks like maybe a little easier fun, a little better pathing. He's going to do a double jump. So typically with three golems, you want two jumps. Now, you might be wondering, he doesn't have that many spells. Like, where's his heal and rage? Won't he need those? Well, see, because the three golems are there, they're pretty much a spell. The golems are acting like a heal spell. Uh, keeping you know your other troops alive so he's going to just jump right in and he's going to do his other jump which opens up all these compartments so he doesn't even come in on the wizard tower side he's going to reach the wizard tower uh, with his double jump if that makes sense queen's going to come behind bowler's beautiful rage he was very patient on the rage try to be patient don't put the rage too soon he wanted to put the rage more in the middle of the base to get more value out of it so golems are going to the wizard towers which is amazing queen behind and uh, on the back end, he has hogs. So the only thing he has to worry about is, well, uh, putting down his uh, uh, hogs at the right position. Hogs taking down that wizard tower. He's going to bring in some more hogs. As the golems are tanking, look at that beautiful placement. As the golems are tanking for the cannon, the expo brings in the other hogs. He does have to worry about the uh, little wizard there. Wizard tower. Queen's going to pop ability. And uh, yeah, he's got eight hogs in the bag. He's not spamming them in. Just systematically taking down these bases or taking down these defenses. He brings in a couple more at 12 and a couple more at the Tesla. And uh, as long as you have cleanup. Now, he doesn't have any cleanup. So that's one thing I would mention. Drop two hogs or drop one hogs at least. Bring two wizards. Uh, you want to make sure you have some at least two wizards for cleanup on your on these kind of ground attacks. Try to get at least two wizards if you can. He might have had to put his wizards earlier on. Uh, he might have put more... Maybe he mistapped one by one. I don't even know. But there you go. Diddy Kong showing us the glory of all glories. And my friends, that'll wrap up today's video. I'm going to be doing some more like this very, very fastly, quickly. Tons of videos coming out here. We're going to pump them out. So be sure to share, subscribe, and let your clan know that Town Hall 9 is about to be smoking with war bases. Best in the world. Yeah, they are. Halo out. Thank you.